So it's been confirmed that Far Cry 5 will indeed be taking place in America, specifically the state of Montana, but perhaps not in the same way that previous leaks had reported. Ubisoft last night released four live action teasers for the new title, only about 30 seconds long each, and they do indeed follow along the lines of the previous reports set in a prairie of Montana, and the bell tower that was specifically mentioned is shown in one of the teasers, with a person using a dead body and the head of another to sound the bell. The fictional world of Hope County is the setting, and that is indeed in Western America. But it doesn't look like the spaghetti western setting we were talking about last week. It looks like a much more modern day landscape. Now alongside these teasers that came out last night officially from Ubisoft, there have been a few leaks that have come out over the last few days as well, beyond what Ubisoft have now confirmed via their four videos. A Reddit user created a throwaway account to reveal some information that they gleaned when taking part in some feedback sessions with the Far Cry 5 developers. The game is now rumoured to be set in modern day Montana where the protagonist, the character that you play, will be tasked with taking on a group of, and I quote here, doomsday preppers bent on furthering their cause. Sounds very interesting. You'll be equipped with modern day weaponry and vehicles and we can expect those in spades if previous games are anything to go by and it's all set against the mountainous Montana landscape. Now Far Cry 4 was set in the Himalayas, and I enjoyed that setting quite a lot. Judging from the teaser trailers though, it looks like we will see some more variation in the landscape this time along the way as you progress through the story. Now a reveal date for the game has been set, that's May 26th, just a few days away, and what's more interesting is it's a few weeks before E3, which is a little bit strange. Perhaps Ubisoft were a little bit jumpy at the thought of Red Dead Redemption 2 potentially overshadowing it, but that threat is essentially all gone now as Rockstar have pushed their title into 2018. So we're now extremely close to the reveal of Far Cry 5. We've got a very good idea of the setting. I think it's just all down now to the gameplay that we see and what Ubisoft have done with the franchise since Primal and Far Cry 4. I think the peak of the franchise for me was Far Cry 3, 4 was still very good and Primal was quite a letdown in my opinion. But let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comments section. Are you excited as I am for Far Cry 5 or is this a game that you're going to skip past this year? Let me know down in the comments. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.